enormous vocabulary allow me to play devil's advocate isn't censored to privately owned so if it's private private property they can oh this argument came up make make their own rules right even if it's a here's the thing here, here's the thing this 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 has come up enormous uh, vocabulary by the way this this discussion has been in play and, it, and it's already settled right because um there's lots of it, basically we're in this in 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 the times where um believe it or not this is the, the teenager chicho would really look at adult chicho and go you're about to quote ronald reagan <laughs> like, <laughs> which is crazy but i'm also quoting um uh, wallen i'm quoting chris hedges i'm quoting everyone that's and um wilhelm everyone that's ever talked about fascism right we in the western world are living in fascist states definition of fascism meaning meaning things there are there's private companies but they control the government and vice versa they're all on the board of directors of each other and stuff like this sensor tube right stop becoming a private company when they started politically uh canceling and censoring political speech right when they were getting payouts from government bailouts from government right getting government funding getting government advertising money for example cbc right in canada gets a shitload of its money from the canadian government and you couldn't hear anything that opposed the canadian government's point of view lots of cbc reporters quit have quit over the last three years to go on substack uh, create uh, channels on sensor tube rumble odyssey bitchu uh, all of well bitchu not as much but uh, rumble for sure right so in all these companies where they say they're private they're not really private anymore this is a full-on we're living a fascist regime in the western world there's no doubt about it now right by the way the difference between fascism and communism is in fascism it's private corporations that are ruling over us through government enforcing laws mandates and all this jazz right in communism the state owns it all right but it's the same effect right just or same means consolidate more power they just go about it a little differently and many times they overlap in their deeds right committing genocides right annihilating a certain thought process right so no you can't say uh because censor to used to be anyway uh the soapbox the public place where people spoke and they started censoring even senators right they're censoring senators but not senators from that are necessarily saying what they disagree with what censor to disagree with, disagrees with but they were censoring people put uh, what do you call it the public servants that only belong to a certain party or a certain group right because they come on and say oh promoting violence but then hey wait a second there's a lot of people on one side that were promoting a lot of fucking violence in the United States over the last few years, and they were amplified, right? So, no, this whole debate about if it's private or public or or whatever, it's done. It's already done. Okay, it's already done. In uh, North by the way, I am against cens censorship. I am against censorship, free speech all the way. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. This little message here, ridiculously important. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. If attack on Julian Assange was not allowed to happen or humanity stood up to resist it, if WikiLeaks was allowed to perform as public duty to reveal corruption, war crimes, crimes against humanity, right? I can guarantee you we would not be facing what we are right now. Okay.